Jordan as decorators. And Duff and Diana Cooper, they were the, one of the nexus points of Parisian culture. And really, this room created a lot of the momentum for the movements that we saw that Paris had after the war. I'm so excited to share with you this incredible book by Maureen Footer, Jordan as decorators. It was published in 2018, and it actually is a deep biography of the designers Victor Grandpierre and George Geoffroy. And one of the things that it talks about, in addition to their lives and their work, is the creation of Christian Dior's aesthetic for all of his buildings. And Maureen Footer does a brilliant job connecting the dots between interior design and fashion history. Um, to really bring river to interior design, which is incredible. I want to jump right in and see all you my favorite parts of the book. And the first one is really the Dior story. So Christian Dior, very f famous for his new look, um, was ready with this brand new collection. And he envisioned a setting for it. And it was in this particular address, 30 Avenue Montaigne in, um, in Paris, France. And the problem was, is that this particular townhouse that he had envisioned was only available on December 16th, 1946. And he was planning to release his new look collection uh, the following February. So only two months. So two months to prepare the interiors of the space that he felt was critical to the success of the new look. And he enlisted a relatively unknown designer named Victor Grandpierre, who was a fashion photographer. And when Christian Dior made this decision, everyone knew that he was out there to change the world. And instead of use, creating a salon that looked like the salons of the past, like this one, um, by, which was Robert uh, Pijou's um, couture house, uh, who was uh, Christian Dior's first mentor, it was very modern. They had mirrors, lots of white, and he wanted to do something completely different. So he enlisted Victor Grandpierre, for 30 Avenue Montan, and they did. And what ended up happening was that they created the perfect look for all of the spaces of Christian Dior uh, from that first collection, which was, as you know, a fantastic success throughout um, his salons, even to this day. You see the garlands of flowers. He went back to more historical designs, fascinated by uh, Louis XV. You see Louis XV chairs here. And he created the palette, a palette of gray and white. And this gray and white was the perfect setting and the perfect background for these incredible designs of Christian Dior. And Maureen Footer does an incredible job telling the story of this. And that's really, if you're a fan of Christian Dior and a fan of the brand and what it represents, she goes into great detail as to its inception and why it has the aesthetic that it does today. Uh, I wanna share another uh, fantastically important um, interior, also talked about in the book, uh, important in the history of fashion and interior design. And it might not look like much, but this is a library. And right after the liberation of Paris in 1944, the embassies open. And this is actually a room in the British embassy. But when the ambassadors, Duff, and Dian Duff Cooper and his wife, Diana Cooper, arrived in Paris at Hotel de Choros, which is what it's called, uh, it didn't have a library. And um, Duff Cooper was an author himself, and he wanted a library. And he envisions um, it as the center of the heart of um, the embassy. He also offered to donate 1,500 of his own books if the uh, government would pay for the project. There had been no construction throughout the war in France. It was really difficult to get materials. But they had an old friend, Duff and Diana Cooper, had an old friend named Charles de Bestigui, who had lived as if the war had not happened at Chateau de Grousset. And he had built, not only re re renovated Chateau de Grousset to magnificence, but he'd also built an incredible library. And he is one of the great tastemakers of the 20th century. And they asked him for help. And he helped design this. And then, but he was an amateur decorator. So the Coopers enlisted. The other namesake of this book, George Geoffroy, to, um, to build this library. And this library had a resounding impact um, because it represented the change and the, the, the inception of fashion as an important way for France to recover from the World War. 
And Duff and Diana Cooper were socialites. She had lots of bohemian, lots of artist friends. You know, they were they mingled with the aristocratic set. For me, they are they were the, one of the nexus points of Parisian culture after um, it was liberated. And really, this room created a lot of the momentum for the movements that we saw in Dior's new look and all of the fashion and all of the importance that um, that Paris had after the war. And finally, um, Maureen is able to find this story of this other incredible room celebrated in fashion history, which is um, part of the Hotel Lambert. And it is, um, was the home of Alexis Baron de Rede, who was an inc one of the other incredible tastemakers of the 20th century. Um, incidentally, these tastemakers, Charles de Bestigui, he had done the, um, a ball in 1951 at Palazzo Labia, which was a worldwide event and really marked the, a new era of socializing. And Alexis Baron de Red went there with George Geoffroy as part of um, Arturo Lopez Wilshaw and Patricia, his wife's uh, entourage. Um, uh, you see the story here. This is a watercolor by Sebriakov, Serebriakov, Alexander Sebriakov, who was a watercolorist of, um, that was very popular with this group. And you see some of the details of the story. This was the original uh, design rendering, but it actually ended up being with split pediments here. And we hear that design story. Um, so this book, amazing, uh, Lee, you know, it's much more than a picture book. Maureen Footer has done a brilliant job uh, telling the stories, connecting the dots between um, these tastemakers, these interior designers, and showing their influence not only on Christian Dior, but on uh, all of um, the tastemakers of the 20th century and really kind of this inception moment at the... Um, after the liberation of Paris. So I recommend it for anyone with an interest in interior design, the history of tastemakers, fantastic book. My name is Sergio Andres with Elegance Found. Thank you and I hope you have a wonderful day.